This is a video response to the several videos on YouTube uh, that uh, prove the airplane on a treadmill puzzle. The way this has always been presented to me is there's an airplane on a treadmill and the treadmill is designed such that as the airplane starts to move forward the treadmill will move in the same at the same rate or the same speed as the airplane in the opposite direction. <clears throat> and the question is posed, will the air airplane take off? And of course the answer is yes, the airplane will take off. Now, if you think about it a, a minute, uh, and maybe not too closely, what you might expect is that the airplane stays stationary as it relates to the ground away from the treadmill. Uh, a better way to look at that is picture a guy standing off the treadmill right next to the airplane and as the airplane and treadmill start moving what they're expecting to happen is they're expecting the airplane to stay in the same spot relative to the guy off the treadmill but we're talking about a real airplane an airplane that flies and airplanes that fly would not stay stationary as it relates to the ground and why is that uh, I guess if you think about the way an airplane moves, not through the air, but when it's on the ground, as it's running down the runway, uh, what is making that airplane move across the ground? Well, it's actually moving through the air, even though it's on the ground. The wheels are still touching the ground. But there is a force that must be applied to propel the airplane forward, and it has to get that airplane moving at such a speed that there will be enough lift produced by the airfoils on the airplane to lift and counteract gravity. The force that's applied is called thrust. Where does that airplane get its thrust from? It is not from the wheels gripping the ground and moving the airplane along the runway, or in the case of the puzzle, along the treadmill. A car works this way. A car doesn't have a propeller. A car doesn't have jet engines that throw huge amounts of force backwards and make the plane move forward. <clears throat> that's where the confusion comes in. If the wheels were the mechanism to propel the airplane forward, then what would happen is you'd have a plane sitting there spinning the wheels and staying stationary as it relates to the guy that I mentioned earlier off the conveyor belt. But that's not how planes work. What would happen is as thrust is as power is applied to the airplane the let's just take the the example of a propeller airplane the air would still move backwards the plane would still move forwards and as it built up speed the conveyor belt will move backwards uh, at the same speed but that guy that's sitting next to the treadmill is going to watch that plane move forward uh, I don't care if you move the conveyor belt twice as fast or four times as fast or let's put some real sturdy tires on this plane a thousand times faster than the airplane is moving forward the airplane is still going to move forward the only thing that's going to be different is those tires are going to be smoking they're going to be moving ten times or a hundred times or a thousand times faster than they normally would but the thrust is going to be the same and well with the exception of the friction that's caused by the tires, but the plane is still going to move forward. Uh, for those that watch these videos, like the Mythbusters or the guy that with his uh, with his son on the on the treadmill, uh, if you look at those puzzles or uh, at those at those experiments and say, "Well, who would think that it wouldn't take off?" I, I saw the thing take off, but when it's presented to most people they picture what I stated earlier that the plane just sits there and of course if you could set up a, a situation like that you'd have to have an additional force that would keep the plane held back because the thrust of again the the jet engines or the propeller is moving it forward so if you want to keep the thing stationary you'd have to have another force applied to it in the opposite direction because the treadmill isn't going to do it it's just going to spin the wheels uh, if you watch this video and you want to reply below down here and say that I'm an idiot, I don't understand or whatever, feel free, but uh, please understand that 
This isn't uh, my opinion. It's the way things work here on Earth, and that's the way airplanes work. Now, I'll point out one other thing. If this was a car with wings, uh, that would be true. The, the, the power from a car, what makes a car move forward, is the wheels must grip the road and they must, I mean, they, they have to uh, apply power to the road and move the car forward. If we strapped on some wings to a car and set it on that treadmill, uh, and as it built up power, since the only power is applied through its tires, it would stay stationary. But take it off the treadmill, run it down a normal runway, and get enough airspeed to get the car plane airborne, then it's not going to be able to fly. Because now, once you've moved those tires off the road, there's no force to apply thrust any longer so it would get airborne for a minute or for a few seconds or or whatever and it would come right back to the ground because now you've lost the power so once it's airborne it's just a matter of time before it comes back down and uh so that's why they don't use the tower the tires to apply power because it would be kind of a flawed design i think anyways i hope uh i hope at least one person <laughs> is cleared up with this and uh i'll wait to see what kind of replies i get with it have a good day.